All right, hello. I um, I'm an hour late. I'm sorry. I was staying up late last night doing something, which is no excuse, but explains why I I'm late. And yeah, I'm so ashamed. Punctuality is 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 one of my most treasured qualities, and I failed you all. So I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, the, the story that had been voted on in the survey, and I still need to finish updating the new survey, uh, was Pinkie Pie Watches Paint Dry by Absolute Anonymous, whom I'm not even going to go into it again because I was, I was feeling better about it by the end of the story anyways. Uh, yesterday, I ended up reading through the entire story, and no one said anything be that when the stream ended. It ended like, I have no idea when. I hit the button at some point, no idea when it was. I got through the entire story, I looked up, and the camera's not on. I, I haven't even checked the video to see at what point it cut out, but I just decided I'd just do this again. So, thank you for nothing, whoever was watching. I'm looking at you, Starlight Ironhoof. And <laughs> and why why is this not loading? Okay, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Pinkie Pie ponders whatever. I forgot the short description. Anyways, <clears throat> it's actually a very interesting read. So. I enjoyed the the accent I picked yesterday. I always read these in, in some random foreign accent. And so I'm just going to start reading and hope it's good enough that you can all pick it out. So, ah, uh, ha ha, hello, Astra. <laughs> Anyways, closing that out. Right. <clears throat> the room had been orange, and no, it was not. Pinkie Pie couldn't wrap her head around it. How very, very easy it was to change the identity of everything, simply by changing its color. Whether it was willing to be changed or not. What had once been the orange room was soon to be the pink room. It was simply a matter of waiting for the paint to dry, and once it did, there would be no going back. You you could just paint it orange again. Can you? Whatever. Together, they had reached the point of no return. Once they crossed that threshold, nothing would ever be the same. There was nothing the walls could do about it either. Um, one little thing that I like to do. Do do do. Put some comments over here so if someone says anything, like making very cute monkey emotes at me, I can read them. And now I move this over here. Do 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 do. Okay, okay, this is good. Alright, sorry. Pinkie Pie couldn't wrap her head around it. How very, very easy it was. It was a so we might have waited for the painted line, or a turn. There was nothing the walls could do about it either. They had no say in the matter. And she had been the one to do it to them. She had been the one to steal the womb's very identity. After all, once upon a time, her loft at Sugar Cube Corner had been painted orange. It had been in the orange room. And now it was not. Soon it was going to be pink, and then it would be the pink room. All her memories of the orange room would fade into obscurity with time. And it. Well, at least you said something. Uh, yes, yes, he does that. Um. Ah. Uh, I can only say try to ignore it. Even though I'm probably making it worse right now. Um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so I <laughs> Alright, 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 all right. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. <laughs>
<laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to do that and maybe over here. I I can't find a good spot, but I'll I'll just I'll just keep it on the side and if you say anything I'll just I'll just move it. Okay. And I have nah oh well. I'll just have to check back every couple of minutes. Okay, once upon a time, how loved the Tsuki Kipuro had been painted orange, it had been a painted room, it, it was pink, when it was orange, and now it was pink. It was orange, and now it was pink. Pink, orange, pink, orange, pink, orange, pink, orange, pink. Was orange, now it's pink. Okay, we go with that. I'm not a Dwarkusko, but I sure sound like him. This is boring. Okay, now, after all, everything she owned was pink, and soon... What had once been defined by its uniqueness was being assimilated, falling into place along with everything else. After all, everything she owned was pink, and soon her bedroom would be no different. What did that say about the fleetingness of the individual, when something as simple as a can of paint could change the very nature of a thing? When the mere color could change what a thing was at its very core? For a room that was no longer orange could no longer be called the orange room. The room would be something else entirely. Even if she painted over it once the pink had dried, in order to have to recapture the orange, she was quickly finding herself missing. It would never again be simply the orange room. Instead, it would be forever known as the room that had once been orange and then was pink and now was orange again. And Pinkie Pie didn't know she would be able to remember a name that long. Even the acronym T R T H O B O A T W P A N W O A with a boat in the middle, was too long for her liking, and she undoubted whether or not he, even, sh even her sharp mind would be able to keep track of that many levels. She stood in the middle of the room, her coat and mane covered in flecks of this stuff, lying off to the side, abandoned and forgotten. There lay two now empty cans of paint and a pair of brushes still coated in paint. Her furniture had been covered in protective tops before they had begun their task. But there had been nothing in place to protect these poor walls. Perhaps, Pinky mused, because painting the walls had been the entire point of the exercise in the first place, rendering such tops unnecessary and unhelpful. Pinky took a step forward, who felt stretched, and placed it gently against the closest wall. The paint was still damp, having not yet dried enough for it to be permanent. That meant that the orange room was in limbo. No longer orange, not entirely pink either. That could still be changed, and that meant that the choice was hers. Did she let fate run its course? Was it more merciful to end this transformation now, removing the paint while it was still wet and hopefully easier to do? Or would it be candid to see the process through uninterrupted and allow her process bedroom to become what it would never become, pink, like everything else she possessed? You know what is interesting is, um, this is reminding me of a story I wrote, and, uh, sorry for self-promotion. I wrote a story, uh, quite a few months ago, I don't know if many of you remember it. Um, it was called To The Pony. I saw on my page. It was about, a po and spoiler alert, it was about a pony who was, um, he was turned two-dimensional by Poison Joke. And, well, he, he wandered around town, and eventually, uh, everything looked strange to him, because it was not also two-dimensional, and he got stuck to a wall. And this is not relevant quite yet, but, uh, at one point, they, they didn't, they, um, they realized they couldn't really fix him, because, uh, how could you convince him to take a bath in... If you can't communicate with him, because he couldn't hear anything, um, and eventually, Pinkie Pie grabbed a can of wet paint, and just painted over him, 
and he was gone forever. I uh, <laughs> and it was a really dark fiction, but I I did like dark fiction back then. Um, I still do a little bit, but I don't write it as much, and. It kind of reminds me of this, the way Pinkie Pie is going on about, you know, changing the room with uh, the white paint. Oh, uh, you're the only person here. Well, thank you for being here. <laughs> uh, anyways, everyone will watch the video later. They would have wanted, I know that um, My Little Life on Mars would have wanted to watch this because he or she usually does and that's my fault for not being here on time <clears throat> oh well anyways it's it it just reminds me of it so back to the story was it too late had the damage already been done was such a change irrevocable seeping into the very nature of the walls themselves perhaps the walls no longer view themselves as orange walls Perhaps they had begrudgingly accepted their destiny as pink walls, and would resent her for altering them any further if she chose to do so. Pinkie Pie wanted to make amends, but she didn't know how. She didn't know how to make it up to the poor walls. After all, she had already changed them so much, too much, already stripped them of their identities. If she went any further, what would become of them? If paint had such power, then what could it do to her? Why died? Pinkie examined her hoof, white pink, like the rest of her, but now it was streaked with pink paint as well. If paint could change the very essence of a thing, what could it have done to her if the paint had been green or blue or burnt sienna instead of pink? It had been an, a unfor it had been a fortunate coincidence that she happened to be her own favorite color, one that she would never be go forever be grateful for. But if that if that hadn't been the case. She could even she couldn't even begin to imagine what it would have meant. If the paint she'd chosen had been any other color, then accidentally becoming covered in it would have changed her, just as the four walls surrounding her had been changed. She wouldn't have been a pinky pie covered in pink paint polka dotties, the way she was now. She would have been a blue polka dotted, almost pinky, but not quite. She wouldn't have been a proper pinky at all, if she'd been stained in blue. And she wasn't necessarily a pinky, if that wasn't a static thing. And if it was so easy to change or disguise, then who was she? She wasn't a full-blooded pinky pie. Then she didn't know who she was at all. She certainly couldn't be a bluey, or a greeny, or a burnt sienny. She had been a pinky all her life. After all, she was exceptionally good at it. Being a pinky pie was all she'd ever known, all she could trust herself with. All she wanted. She couldn't bear the thought of some false change claiming her identity, but that wasn't what she wasn't that what she herself had done to the orange room. She had taken it upon herself to change it, potentially against its will, for the better. She had believed that at the time. She was now quickly coming to regret it. Oh, for the better she had believed at the time, but she was now quickly coming to regret it. But perhaps all she'd done to steal was steal its identity and force a new one upon it, one that it had no option about. The orange room was no longer the orange room. Pinky Pie might no longer be Pinky. All it took to change a thing was a simple can of paint. Almost hesitantly, Pinky Pie once again touched the drying paint, only to find that it was no longer wet to the touch. It was too late then. The deed had been done, and the orange room was gone forever. In its place, there was nothing but pink. And now, dialogue. See, I told you she was being weird. How long has she been standing there? Rainbow Dash and Twilight Sparkle stood in the entrance of Pinkie Pie's bedroom, watching her in wide-eyed fascination. Well, Twilight was at least. Rainbow was scared me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. An hour, I guess? She wanted to paint her room, so I said I'd help. And we started painting, and then suddenly she just started staring at the wall, and looking scared, and saying stuff like, What have I done? What have I done? I'm so sorry! And acting all crazy, and then she started doing this! Are you sure she isn't just being Pinkie Pie? Toilet ventured. 
From her perspective, all she could see was the pink pony standing perfectly in the middle of her room, a glazed look in her eyes, as though she were deeply lost in thought. That would have been alarming enough under ordinary circumstances, but with Pinkie Pie it was especially so. <clears throat> Pinkie Pie wasn't exactly the kind of pony to pour on to bouts of deep philosophical... <laughs> okay, okay, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's quite breaking the fourth wall, but, uh, AA, you are going back to, um, what did I call it last night? I don't know, but that, that mentioning, what is it, irony or, or, no, 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 what was it, what was it? I don't remember, oh well. My brain does this to me sometimes, but... Men mentioning it, it, it is to me it's almost like breaking the fourth wall. Um, I wish I had known that I was not recording. Anyways, Pinkie Pie doesn't act crazy like this. Pinkie Pie acts crazy by jumping around and talking about random stuff. Since when does she get all moody? There was a brief silence while the two of them watched their friend continue to stand perfectly still. She might not have even been breathing. They had no way to tell. There was nothing strange in her stance to give it. A there was nothing in her stance to give it away, and from their position, they could see whether her chest. They couldn't see whether her chest was rising or falling or not. She was like a statue. Just you wait. Her hair is gonna go flat, and she'll start talking to rocks any second. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good joke. Good joke. I actually love her pink, uh, her flat main style. I love it. It's so beautiful. Um, that's why I avatar as her. She's, I, I love it. Uh, this, this was one thing I was going to mention earlier is, um, I'll wait till it becomes relevant again. But I, I love her flat main style, um, very much. Pinkie Pie is, is, flat main Pinkie Pie is, is my favorite. Favorite character from the show. I love it. Anyways, why was she apologizing? I have no idea. When she started crying after eating a cupcake because she missed it, maybe she feels bad about painting the walls. See, see there you go again. There it is again. Just, you just. Uh, uh, referencing stuff she could. Uh, uh, I cannot remember how I worded it, but so something about going back to what, you know, it's uh, the irony of what she doesn't realize she knows. <clears throat> Man, this is frustrating. This is very frustrating. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, that's silly. So what do we do? That's right. Again, peeling through the doorway, it's a historically tragic figure, figure of the mournful Pinkie Pie, alone except for the alligator absently coming on her tail with vacant eyes. The alligator, so normally borderline catatonic, and catatonic, and gifted with dubious levels of sentience, was currently more active and lively than his normally energetic mistress. Which is quite well, yes. I'm... I'm not sure, Twilight confessed, scratching her head and frowning. She liked to believe that she was rather intelligent, but even she had to confess that Pinkie Pie was an ignorant man. No pony ever knew why she did the thing she did, let alone how to make her stop. Well, I know why she does the thing she does. I understand Pinkie Pie. Why you cannot use Twilight Sparkle? So much like Pinkie Pie. Ah. If Pinkie Pie had decided to stop being a whirlwind of pure energy and instead fell into some stable, sta strange state of melancholy, who is she to judge? Looks like she's having some kind of overly introspective internal monologue, but I can't really tell. You see, you see, there it is again. I want to call it breaking the fourth wall, but I cannot tell what it really is. And I love the way I said it last night much better. I hate trying to do things twice. This is why I only read stories I have not read before. Because this happens. I try to make the same comments and it, it fails miserably.
Uh, so that's very tragic. Um, Whatever. Anyways, back to the story. Back to the uh, no, 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 no. Stop. Okay, good. Windows seven six. I want to add it to have the screen. Uh, I'm like what? What kind of egghead are you? Are you supposed to be good at fixing this kind of thing? Twilight slugged helplessly, and Rainbow Dash rolled her eyes before stumping away. She could have easily thrown down the stairs, but she seemed determined to make as much noise as possible in order to emphasize how fed up she was. And so stormed down the steps, shaking the entire house. For a minute or two, Twilight remained in the door, watching her friend somewhat curiously. She was yet to solve the puzzle of Pinkie Pie's existence, and this was just another mystery regarding her strange friend. But like all intellectuals, she knew how to pick her battles. Pinkie Pie was a case she made of herself and there would be no point in explaining herself to try. So instead, she would observe and see what she could learn about Pinkie Pie's currently curious state for future reference. She wasn't entirely clear on why Rainbow Dash had come to hell for help, but the egghead comment made her suspect that the Pegasus had thought she'd know a spell to snap Pinkie out of this unprecedented lucidity or something. But the stupor the pink bunny was in was almost hypnotic. Seeing the normally spastic Baker so subdued, for once, had a strangely relaxing effect, and Twilight almost didn't want it to end, truth be told. It was... peaceful. She was a murderer, at least if Orange Room had act been an actual pony instead of a studio apartment. His blood would... yes, you see this, this is the part. Uh, this is the part that reminded me of that other story. See, I, I said it at the wrong time. <laughs> His blood would have been on her hooves as a result of what she'd done to him. Only in this case, it wasn't blood. It was paint. Actually, maybe that didn't work. She had stripped the old orange paint, rather than paint, just paint over it. Then the old paint might have been the blood of the wound. And then the, and then the metaphor would have worked. Since the paint on her hose was new paint, it was more like she'd given orange with new blood, rather than shedding his old blood. So instead of having murdered him, it was like Pinky had given him too much life, and it overwhelmed his unbearable life. Yes, that was it. It's funny. I I would not have minded that uh, very much. Um, orange is uh, my favorite color, along with pink. Um, pink and orange are collectively both my favorite colors. So, <laughs> which is quite interesting, because coincidentally, this is completely a coincidence. I swear, I did not choose this. Pinkie Pie is my favorite character, as well as my second favorite character is Scootaloo. She is best Philly. And best CMC, and so is the difference. Um, I I like both colors. <laughs> um, that comment took so much longer to say last time. <laughs> Rainbow Dash barreled past Twilight Sparkle into the freshly painted room, knocking aside Gummy the alligator so that she could so shove a cupcake into Pinkie Pie's face. Cupcake. She said fiercely, Look at the cupcake! Eat the cupcake! For a moment, Pinkie Pie st looked startled just to see Rainbow Dash there in front of her. A dazed look crossing her face. Then her eyes fell on the cupcake and grew wide. With a squeal of joy, she yanked it from the Pegasus and shoved it into her mouth. Mmm, in pleasure, and licking her lips. Wow, thanks, Dashie! That was yummy! I haven't had a cupcake in like forever! I've totally needed one! Rainbow Dash grinned, looking triumphant. Mr. and Mrs. Cake said that you get like this sometimes when you don't have enough sugar, and then you start slowing down and watching grass grow and stuff, and it all, and all it takes to snap you out of it is a cupcake. You know, I should try that sometime. Um, because <laughs> I notice all the time I am like a lot like Pinkie Pie, and I do the same thing. I will get all depressed and, and everything, and then my friends will all notice. Uh, because I'll start talking about it online, and I'll start posting very sad pictures of Pink Amina. And, of course, to me, it, it just sort of happens in, in like, cycles. What What is going at? Stop. I would, sorry, I was watching Game of Thrones before this, and I had it paused. And then the TV decided to go back to regular, so anyways, ignore that. Um, so you good now? Back to normal? Yeah, thanks again for the cupcake. 
Pinkie Pie Quiet, so I'm house full of pastry, beaming. Red Velvet is my favorite flavor right now. Oh my gosh, this is so good. You should eat one too. We should have a cupcake party. Yep, back to normal. Rainbow Dash declared, clapping Pinkie Pie on the shoulder with a wing and steering her towards the floor. Come on. And come on. I think the paint humans are getting to me too. Let's go make Tank and Gummy wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> now you see this 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 was a little joke I thought of last night. I think it would be hilarious if um Tank and Gummy had like a, a face off or whatever, like someone makes a video, like uh I could just see like I as the tiger just start playing. It's like Tank Fight I think that would be hilarious. Oh my goodness, like, I want to make a video about it now, but I... And it would be... Because Tank would be moving slowly, although he does have his helicopter hat. And Gummy uh, is very agile, although he does not choose to show it very often. I wonder if that could be like a little mini-game on Fighting Against Magic when it finally comes out. WHEN IT FINALLY COMES OUT! <laughs> I've been waiting for so long, as have the rest of us. And it's not out yet. Oh, Scrubs is on. Look at that. TV off. I do not want to be watching TV right now. I am reading. I am reading. I am not reading. I am not watching TV. I am reading. Anyway. <clears throat> Yay! And so the two friends left. Chatting comfortably as they walked past Twilight, as though they had forgotten that the unicorn was even there. And with a sigh, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> Turned to follow them out. <laughs> Maybe, Pinky thought, munching on the unexpected cupcake. Maybe that's what life was all about, in the end. Accepting loss and change, and finding a way to work around it and move on. Maybe life was not about letting the tragedies bug you down, and causing you to forget the little things that made life truly sign. Maybe life was about those small pleasures, those tiny instances of joy, and not so much about the bad things. Maybe that was the secret to true happiness. And so Pinkie Pie ex exited the formerly orange one, with no lingering regrets, not looking back to what she left behind even once, and instead Choosing to only look forward to the bright future ahead, to friends, to delicious, tasty cupcakes with sprinkles. You see, this, this, this is, I do the same thing. I sometimes have deep philosophical conversations with myself, although it's usually just when I'm sitting alone. Uh, but I, I do this. I try not to let things get me down a lot. Um, I try anyways, uh, because, you know, life should be about being with the ones you love, uh, being among friends, and spending time with them and having fun, and not lingering on the sadder parts of life. I mean, you know, can't remember how I was saying it, but I even, one morning while I was in college, I got up at 6 in the morning and went out for a jog, on a whim, and I said hello, I said good morning, and waved to every single human I passed. Uh, every single one, I did not miss one, and I stopped for... A man who was in his car at a stoplight. He was stopped at the stoplight and he had the window rolled down. And so I just leaned in and I said, well, I did not lean into the car. I leaned over, so I was eye level, and I said good morning. And everyone had a very similar reaction. They were just going about the day, and then it was like, wait, what? Someone said hi to me? <laughs> it was a. Uh... It froze? Did it freeze? What? Oh dear. Wait, let me, um...
Let me just wait 10 seconds because that's the delay time I have. And if it goes away... Oh, no, 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 it's not frozen. Thank you for the warning though. Okay. So... Yeah, and I really do... I enjoy being around my friends. Um... I really do. It, it makes me happy to be with friends. Uh, and it makes me very sad when they're not around. Uh, much the same way Pinkie Pie seems to be. Um, I mean, wh when we were watching too many Pinkie Pies and they made a reference to what everyone believes was this exact fiction, um, and she, she was so sad uh, because she could not be with her friends. And I would, I, and the same way, I would be absolutely devastated because my friends mean the world to me. I don't know what I would do if they left me. And I have a very difficulty letting go of friends. Uh, those, those of you who are, are watching, I know I only have one person watching at the moment. Thank you very much, Astra. But I'm sure this is on YouTube. You're probably watching this on YouTube because Astro is the only one who watched it live. Um, but those of you who are in pad with me have noticed when I come on all depressed because I miss my old friends. And it is very difficult because they do mean the world to me. I love my friends very much. And much the way, same way Pinkie Pie does. I identify with her so much. Because I am very much the same way. I am very energetic, if you've ever met me IRL in real life. I, I am very, very energetic and random uh, throughout the day. Uh, and I, I talk about the most random things seemingly out of nowhere. And it never seems to make se much sense to anyone but me. Which might explain why Pinkie Pie makes so much sense to me. When everyone else is like, oh, it's Pinkie Pie. I'm like, what? Well, that, that made sense. Um... <laughs> and I'm sort of going on a monologue about myself now, uh, but <laughs> I, I, I often wonder if that's why uh, she came to me in the dreams that one day and hypnotized me into watching ponies because I, I gave the show a shot and hated it and then Pinkie Pie visited my dreams and I, I do not remember the dream. Maybe she had a talk with me and convinced me to watch it. But for whatever reason, I woke up the next morning and I liked the show. And I still do not know why I like the show. Um, I think I stay for the community because I love my friends very much. And there, there's, there's a big community here that I, I can enjoy. And in fact, I don't even watch the show very much anymore, except for when a new episode comes out. I watch a new episode once, and then I go back to posting on Ponychan and writing fan fiction. But enough about me. Um, <laughs> the last two lines that I almost don't even need to say, but I did end up uh, liking this. I was not sure I, I would like this story because when I started reading it was it was very boring. And in fact, the last time I read this, I, I tried to, to read it and I did not get very far. Um, so... I tried and I, I didn't get very far because it was so boring. Because you remember, I said it was orange and now it's pink, and it was orange, now it's pink, orange, pink, orange. Pink. It was just so boring, and I did not like it. But this 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 area at the end here, I I can enjoy this. Um. So I I must respect. This is a very good story. I, I do respect it. It's not going on my favorites list, but it's it's a it's a good story. Um so that's that's all I basically have to say. So I guess that's the end of the stream. Thank you very much to Astro for watching and um I guess I'll see you guys on YouTube. If you're watching this it's probably already up.